Hundreds of coaches, thousands of players, and more than 27 million fans have watched a game at Joe Louis Arena over the past 38 years. Grand Haven native Dan Bilesma has done so as each, a fan, a player, and a coach. Dan, of course, won his only Stanley Cup championship at JLA as head coach of the Pittsburgh Penguins in the spring of 2009. I was there that night with Dan at the Joe and had a chance to catch up with him again there earlier this week as he and the Sabres made their final appearance at Joe Louis. You know, I, to, to me, it, it just really is the, you know, I say the Taj Mahal. This is the, the quintessential NHL, huge destination place arena. And, you know, I, I was growing up in West Michigan, was a Red Wing fan, wasn't able to get here very often or if at all, but... Uh, you know, my first experience was 15 years old, coming here to see the Edmonton Oilers play the Wings and see Gretzky and Curry out here playing the Red Wings. Um, walking in here thinking, you know, this was the first time I'd been in a real building, uh, minus the old Grand Rapids Stadium that kind of went up on the sides. But this was, like, unbelievably big and padded seats and uh, the history in the building with the, the flags and the Red Wings history and... And then it, on to college hockey, this was the destination point. You know, you got to go to the Joe at the end of the year with the, the CCHA playoffs, and the big dressing room was always for this first seed, which we were never in. And, and uh, you know, this was uh, this was the place, and and it has that memory for me more so probably for college hockey than than NHL hockey. But uh, you know, you continue on playing here as a player and, and coming back home, so to speak, to, to play in Detroit. And then the Stanley Cup playoffs yeah. as a coach and, and playing game one and two in here and game five and seeing Zetterberg fight Melkin and we lost five nothing and the fans singing halfway home and they're, you know, we were getting run out of the building and then coming back for game seven and holding our breath for the last five seconds here and, and uh, Mark Andre making the save and the Stanley Cup on the ice right out here and back in the dressing room. So... Um, quite a few memories over the years. I had the great pleasure of covering back in between Pittsburgh and Detroit. Both of those series was here's that, here that night that you won it. Do you, do you find yourself looking around a little bit more now knowing that this may be the last time you're here? The, the last uh, last year and coming back this year, and this is our last time uh, obviously in the Joe tonight. And Yes, you kind of you get a little bit remorseful about uh, the passing of, of iconic building and iconic place and you kind of start to remember different uh, scenes and scenarios and, um, you know, playing here again, college hockey and um, opportunities missed and, and games won. And, you know, like you mentioned the Stanley Cup, uh, you kind of can vividly smell and taste it here as you stand behind the bench and you remember those things and the experience of winning the Stanley Cup here. So kind of, you kind of take it all in and, and uh, know it's passing. I know there's a lot of amenities this place does not have, but why do players like it so much? I mean, is it just the, that typical old barn? It, I, I think I think it does have that feel and taste to it. A few of our players were talking today about uh, just a little bit of the smell and the boards and the, the, the bench. I mean, this bench is... is uh, <laughs> You know, n no one's ever going to remake this bench, hopefully. Um, from a plane, from coaching, we run into each other. It's, right. you know, yeah, the separation, the, separation the door opens <laughs> up. It's, uh, it's, it's good for at least one too many men a, a game. Um, but uh, it just has uh, an old-time feel to it that is uh, memorable for a lot of guys. Yeah, a little ironic in the fact that you said coming here as a kid that this is where, you know, you have, at least to this point, your greatest hockey achievement. It, it, yes, and you know, it, again, I'm hometown kid from West Michigan. I guess I'm a couple hours away for sure, but uh, this has always been kind of home, and uh, we had that opportunity to p play the Red Wings in the Stanley Cup Finals and to win right here, kind of um, in Michigan, in Detroit. Uh, certainly was a, a special thing for me. You took on a big challenge coming here to Buffalo. Obviously, you guys have, what, a 27-whatever-it-was point turnaround. That breeds high expectations. People yeah. wanted it again. <laughs> yeah. Just a, uh, just the process of where you guys are at now in this rebuild here. Yeah, we, we uh, you know, we know we're in a process of uh, trying to get to where we want to go, which is a, a winning team and a perennial winning team. And um, that's a long and arduous process at right. times coming from where we came a couple of years ago. And... Uh, we certainly made strides uh, last year, and uh, the anticipation of making more strides this year 
uh, kind of coming into this year and you add the piece of Kyle Poso to your team and um, Jack Eichel in his second year. If we stumble out of the gates with Jack uh, getting high ankle sprain and a few other injuries and, um, you know, we still, we still think we're uh, made some progress in that even though currently right now we're probably right around the same spot we were last year in the, in the standings. Um, but we still think we're we're gone, come a, quite a bit of ways in that uh, process for our team, and you know, one we're still trying to to will to work on and build here in the last ten. Are you enjoying Buffalo? I mean, obviously the way the situation worked in Pittsburgh, you got a veteran team and, and took them to a cup. Here, you know, you're starting from the ground up. Are you enjoying this process? It, it's a it's a, it's tough. It's a <laughs> tough one. It's a you know it's a little. You'd like it to happen quicker. You'd like to to evolve into a a, a good team with a snap of a finger and and. Um, the process is happening over a couple of years, and we keep keep adding pieces and keep trying to to move to the to the next level in our game and and who we are as an organization. And that's a you know that's a, a tough arduous process, and you know one uh, that um, wouldn't wouldn't want to be doing anywhere else and than in Buffalo with these guys and this team. And um, you know I. I Buffalo kind of reminds me a little bit about Grand Rapids. Yeah, it it's got a, a same kind of feel to it, and and that's a, a comforting thing. We should expect to see you back in Grand Haven doing some fishing this summer, right? I will. I will be there, hat on. <laughs> I will be there, hat on, tuck low, and I'll have a, a rod in my hand for sure. Grand Haven, Ludington, somewhere, Muskegon. We'll be. We'll be there. Well, in fact, Dan uh, did have the Stanley Cup out on Lake Michigan with him fishing in the summer of 2009 after the Penguins won game seven at the Joe. Imagine what that would have sunk.